Hey, Sagittarius. <clears throat> Welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree, and I'm going to be doing your money, wealth, prosperity, abundance, finance, reading for the month of September 2019. Uh, if this is your first time catching one of my videos, I want to say welcome. And I also want to invite you to subscribe because I do these readings each and every month. And I would love to share your money message with you. So let's go ahead and get right into it, Sagittarius. Now, if you don't know, when I do readings, I work with jumper cards because I believe those are the cards that want to come out and communicate with us. So sometimes cards will fall, they will flip, and those are the cards that I read, okay? So what do we need to know for the sign of Sagittarius as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, ooh, and abundance? All right, all of these flipped, but I'm not going to read those. I think I'm going to start with these. I'm feeling like these are these are telling us a story. All right, so you're definitely on the healing modality, Sagittarius. I'm feeling like you are definitely clearing things up in your life at this time and you are really really focused and determined to move forward all right so let's take a look at what we got here we've got the two of wands we also have the nine of wands we have the ace of swords here the star in reverse ten of swords in reverse and then we have the six of swords <clears throat> All right, so like I said, I can tell you're on the healing path, especially by this reverse Ten of Swords here. This means that you've kind of already gone through whatever the pain was, whatever the betrayal, the heartbreak, the disappointment. You've already gone through it. You've processed it. You've processed it mentally, emotionally, spiritually. And now you are just learning the lesson and moving forward in your life. However, I do see that as we start off into September, you're really going to be contemplating a lot. You're really going to be making decisions and really trying to take a full analysis of your life. You really want to reevaluate, consider, maybe um, assimilate into some things that you've been considering for a while. And now it's really becoming much more heightened and you really can't ignore that inner nudge that you've been feeling. Now, I also see the Nine of Wands here, and this is all about taking charge and really being a leader. And I feel like for you, Sagittarius, a lot of, in a lot of areas of your life, you haven't really been that assertive. Now, I'm not saying that you've, you've kind of just blindly let others control you, but I'm, I'm saying that you've kind of just kind of gone with the flow and you're realizing that that doesn't serve you anymore. And as you move into this new month of September, you're really going to be focused on making your own decisions, coming to your own fullness in what you want, especially as it relates to work, money, and your career. Now, we have the Ace of Swords here. Now, this could be a lot of things. This is a very masculine, energetic card. It also means the beginning and the start of a new phase in your life that requires you to really, really get into that work and hustle mode. Now, the exciting thing when we see the Ace of Swords is that it means that all the unnecessary things are going to be cut away. All the things that you don't need and that you don't want are really going to be eliminated from your path and that's very exciting because that means you have much more control than you've ever felt before in the past 
Now we have the star card here and I say this in every reading, the star card is always a positive card in my readings no matter where she shows up and it doesn't matter if she's upright or reverse, she's always very, very positive. Now she means two things when I read her. It, it talks about the health, like physical health, and it also talks about just things going well, things flowing, you know, because she's pouring water here. So I always, I always think of the star card as that energetic flow. And you are definitely going to be feeling that flow as we move into that first week and in the beginning days of September. Now, you could be traveling also, too. You may be planning a trip in September, or you may just be planning some type of a relocation. You know, maybe this is something you already know about, and this is not going to be a surprise. could be something that you've been planning for a while. And finally, things have been confirmed. The dates have been, you know, solidified. Your plans have been, have been made. And so I do see some type of physical movement in that beginning of September, which is very possible considering we have that Labor Day holiday here in the US. And so a lot of people will be traveling or going on vacation for that weekend. If that is you, Sagittarius, it's gonna be all good and you're gonna have a great time. All right, what else do we need to know for the sign of Sagittarius as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance? For the month of September, 2019. Okay. Okay, Sagittarius. Look out for some information to help you make money. That's definitely on the way, especially after the holiday. I'm, I'm feeling after whatever this trip is or this movement is, you've got information coming in. The pages are all about news, information, messages. You've got messages coming in. Um, something related to making money, something related to growth. It's very positive. It's right ne next to the Ace of Pentacles. Whatever it is, it's definitely going to be something that, that allows you to kind of elevate to the next level, either in your business or in your career or in whatever money-making venture uh, you are worried, or I shouldn't say worried, that you are involved with. But I do feel like maybe you've been worried about something that you, you were thinking it wasn't going to come through or things weren't going to work out. It does work out. And it's going to work out probably mid-September. Now, we also have the page of rods here or the page of wands. And this is another message coming in. However, there's going to be some kind of delays. So you're going to get some good news. It's going to be helpful. It's going to be progressive. But then you're also going to see, oh, okay, the deadline has shifted uh, things have been delayed, things have been put on hold, but that doesn't mean that the plans are scrapped entirely. It just means that, oh, I have to wait a little bit longer than what I had anticipated. Now we have the three of wands here, and again, this is all about looking forward into the future. So you're starting to make some future plans here, and I don't mean future like what are you doing next week, next month. I'm talking about life life, uh, long-term goals. You know, where do you see yourself in five years, 10 years, retirement? Those things are really starting to make an impact on you. And you're really starting to think about that right now. You're starting to feel like, you know, I really want my future to be in a certain way. What do I need to do now to make sure that my future is set up for success, not only for myself, but for those people that are important to me? Now we also have the Knight of Swords here, and sometimes this is an energy of dealing with a lot of stuff that's unnecessary. You know, if he were in the reverse or in the upright position, it would mean that uh, we're eliminating, we're cutting away all the distractions. But because he's in the reverse, this tells me that things are getting in the way. You're getting distracted. You're allowing things to kind of take you off course a little bit. Okay, and that's something you need to be aware of, Sagittarius, because I feel like that's a habitual thing, and you really need to stay focused. 
when it comes to your plans for growth and making money and being successful and getting the things that you want. Now let me make sure we're not cut off. Okay, good. Um, we've got the Wheel of Fortune, another positive card. This is excellent, Sagittarius, because even though you get distracted, things still work out and play in your favor. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is a definite huge turn, a 360 turn, or 360? <laughs> yeah, 360 turn of good luck. Uh, you're going to be in the right place at the right time. The timing is going to work out. However, this isn't going to be until the second half of September, okay? The second half of September is going to flow much better than the first half. Looks like the first half of September is a lot of healing, a lot of um, moving, you know, picking up the pieces and moving forward and getting that emotional strength to continue on when you haven't felt like that in the, in the recent past. Also, you're going to get some good news in the middle of September, okay? So it looks like uh, if you've got some type of Oops, if you've got some type of uh, business or something, or you know, if you're if you're waiting to hear back from someone about something, you're definitely going to hear that in the middle of September. So let's go ahead and clarify this. I also feel like you're going to be celebrating something here too. Sagittarius like uh, I'm feeling like you're going to go to a concert <laughs> or something you know and it's it, you're going to have a lot of fun and you're going to it's going to be a serendipitous thing like maybe you'll run into someone you hadn't seen in a while or you know maybe someone doesn't show up and they say hey do you want front row tickets here you go you know it's it's going to be a very serendipitous time all right what else do we need to know for the sign of Sagittarius as it relates to money wealth finances Prosperity and abundance. For the month of September 2019. Okay, Sagittarius, okay. All right, I want one more card, please. What do we need to know? There we go. All right. Interesting Sagittarius, things are going well. <laughs> you're going to you're going to be making it ace of pentacles twice in your spread, okay? And again, this one falls on that serendipitous time frame that I'm seeing here, roughly the beginning of the third week of September. However, I do see things that may be slowing you down uh, just a little bit, more distractions. I see some heartache resurfacing here. I'm feeling like this is connected to this here. You know, it's almost like you went through something, you're trying to move past it, and then, you know, when you think, you know, you're on, you're going in the right direction, it resurfaces again later in the month. It's okay because you're going to be strong. You know, it's it's going to probably come as a little bit of a shake you up, uh, as I can tell by the strength card here in a reverse. You know, you're going to be like, oh, you know, I I'm I'm done. I'm trying to move on. I'm I've built a bridge. I've gotten over it. But it will it will resurface later in the month, and you're going to deal with it. Okay. Also, the five of cups here. Looks like you're going to be doing, again, that inner soul searching, some more of that inner work, trying to propel yourself in the right, in the right frame of mind for the future. Now, we also have the Four of Pentacles here, and this is all about holding on, right? Now, depending on where you are in your finances, to me, this is coming through as a warning to really kind of tighten up. You've been kind of doing some loosey-goosey spending here, and things are kind of starting to slip through the cracks. You want to get a hold, you want to really get a hold of on that. You know, you really want to start tracking your spending, tracking your expenses. Um, you want to pay attention to the small details as it relates to your money. Check your pay stubs. Make sure you're getting paid. Uh, the, for, for the right amount of work. If, if you've got overtime, double check the numbers. Make sure that, um, that you're getting what you, you deserve. You know, if, if someone's sending you a bill, make sure the, you know, it's itemized correctly. Make sure everything's added correctly. That's what I'm feeling with this card here because you really need to, 
to uh, be more meticulous with your money. Not necessarily greedy or stingy, but you really want to know where each penny is going and why. You know, why, why am I being charged so much? Why am I paying this bill? You know, make sure you just keep track of all that stuff. All right, so again, like I said, whatever this emotional thing is, it resurfaces later in the month, but you're going to be okay. It's not going to fully knock you off your game. You're going to be strong, and you're going to get through it. Um, it's just going to it's just going to be more of of an annoyance than anything else. All right, what else? Wow, what else do we need to know for the sign of Sagittarius? As it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance. I think I need about two more cards here. Ooh, this is good. What else do we need to know for the sign of Sagittarius? As it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance. All right, so looks like you're going to be taking a step back. Maybe just not as uh, being as active and as focused into uh, the current situation here. I do see you withdrawing a little bit, and that's okay. Sometimes we need to do that to protect our energy, to protect our mental health. I also see the death card here. This is a huge transformation, and look, it falls right onto that swords card. Meaning, or three of swords card, meaning that whatever this is that resurfaces again later in the month, you're going to be okay. You're going to get through it. And it's actually going to be a turning point for you spiritually because it's right next to the magician. This is all about using that alchemy, using that energy of, you know, turning everything into a positive for yourself. However, you are a little bit worried and maybe a little bit concerned about things, uh, especially as it relates to that new business, but it's going to be okay or whatever this new opportunity is, I should say, new job offer, new um, something, something profitable that's coming your way, that's starting in, in September. You are going to be concerned about it, but I'm feeling like you really don't need to be. Let's pull one more card and see. I'm just feeling like pulling. Yeah, you don't need to be. You don't need to be concerned. Remember, the Empress, she's the start of new creations, the birth of a new idea, um, the uh, fulfillment and the growth and the conception of something coming forth that has been germinating for a while, something that's been in incubation, something that has been growing, you know, it finally, it finally sprouts and it finally, you know, turns into a beautiful thing. So you have a little bit of unnecessary worry here, but I have a feeling you're going to get through it, Sagittarius. So let's go ahead and recap. Like I said, you are going to be going through some things uh, in the beginning of September. However, I see a lot of spiritual and emotional growth for you, especially in that second half of September. You know, you really are doing the, the inner work to make the, the changes in your life that you want to see. You're really processing everything. You're learning the lessons. You're moving forward. And you're doing what's necessary to set yourself up for success. All right, Sagittarius, let's go ahead and pull a color oracle card to round out your reading. Ooh, this is one of my favorite colors. This is cyan. And it says, build your confidence. Number 35. Look at how gorgeous this color is. I hope the camera is picking it up. But here we have build your confidence. And I think this just kind of reaffirms everything we've talked about as far as you putting in that inner work to really work on yourself and to really transform into the person that you want to be, that that you know you can be. So work on your confidence because you have everything on your side, Sagittarius. You know, the energy is on your side, the plans are on your side, and it looks like you are really going to have opportunities to really grow, especially financially. You know, you're really going to see a lot of blessings in the month of September. 
All right, Sagittarius, I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or observations, feel free to put those down in the comments below. A lot of you have asked me for private readings and yes, those are available. That will be linked down below for you as well. I wanna thank you so much for spending this time with me. I'll see you again soon.